If you're a local, you don't navigate the keys by street address. You do it by mile markers. So locals know that Florida City starts the countdown up at the top of the keys at mile marker 125. Pennecamp Park is at mile marker 102. The Key West Courthouse is at mile marker zero. And everyone knows that the Crack Cock Cafe and Marathon symbolizes the just about halfway point at mile marker 50. But it's not just its unique position at the middle of the road mile marker that made the Crack Cock such a well-loved landmark to the folks in the Keys. It's something much more important. You see, since the day it opened back in 1979, the Crack Cock Cafe has been open every day even open on the day Hurricane Wilma blew through. We're always able to feed people, and we ice down. Like I said, we, we prepare, we get a lot of ice, and we make sure everything is iced down. So as soon as the hurricane's through here, people want to get out and see what's wrong, and they want to start cleaning up. They want to start getting their lives back to normal again. And the Crack Con Cafe is normal. Joe DeConda and his crew take a great deal of pride in the fact that they've been open every day since they opened, and when you have that kind of pride, it just naturally spills over into every other area of your life. So this unassuming little roadside cafe also takes great pride in a few other things, like their strong coffee and their tart and creamy perfect key lime pie made with real key limes. Like their claim they have the coldest beer in the Keys, and that's some really cold beer. They're very proud of all the famous and not so famous people who have eaten at the Crack Conk Cafe. And of course, they're proud of their name. After all, Conk is the symbol of the Keys. And on that note, they're practically bursting with pride that they serve more Conk, more different ways, and better than anyone else in the Caribbean. And to prove it, they point to another point of pride. The Food Network came all the way to Marathon to shoot their conch show because, well, as they'll probably tell you, the crack conch knows more about conch than anyone else in the world, and Joe DeConda is the king of conch. If you thought that conch was chewy and tough, you haven't met crack conch cafe conch. Long ago, Chef DeConda learned to treat his conch like veal. It's just a much healthier and tastier version of veal, so on his menu you'll find Conk Marsala, Conk Parmesan, Mediterranean Conk Capri, and of course, a dish veal could never do, classic cracked conk. Joe won't tell you all of his secrets with conk, but you can hear part of the secret at work, in the kitchen, while you're sipping your beer. Do you hear that? That's a conk being beat. A lot of hard work goes into the excellent conk at the Crack Conk Cafe, and plenty of love and careful thought has gone into the rest of the place, too. There's plenty of delicious stuff on the menu besides conk. There's a full liquor bar, a nice selection of wines, of course their famous ice-cold beer, and it's not surprising to learn that they pride themselves in the fact that they really are a cafe. So customers are welcome to drop by on their drive up to Miami for a cup of coffee and a slice of that awesome key lime pie.